round two. Let's do it. Oh, two door keepers. God draw. Just gotta dodge this flyer deck. Rakdos could be a problem too if he's got good removal. Boros. That's right. I like how this dude is just such a house in our deck. Probably the only thing that can kill the stuff. Just gotta dodge that removal. Probably be boarding in a uh, dispel. This game, I've. Oh, shit. That sucks. We're gonna have to rush to judgment on this one. Well, Void Wheeler, if we get lands next turn, we're gonna be down a lot of life, but. I think if we don't hit land next turn, we're boned. Chainwalker plus Pursuit of Flight. Pretty damn good. It's almost like there's a... What was it? A Spectral Flight Dex back in Instrument Block. Didn't hit land, but... We hit a blocker. So, probably gonna jump here. Five life is not where I want to be. Especially there's a blood fray giant lurking about. Chumperino. Damn it. So if he's got an explosive impact, we're dead. That's not a good spot to be in. Come on, mana. Thank you. We got a long way to go. Fall of the gavel would be very nice. Or mana. Dude's got enchants. Yes, he does. Mana. Thank you. Maybe that's an explosive impact here. Oh, if he's got pursuit of flight. Hopefully he doesn't blow us out with a Mizium skin or something. Is that worth playing around? Should I just kill this now? Pursuit of flight gets us down to one uh, I'm not gonna play around Mizium skin although if I built a deck like his I'd probably play it main deck Trace Instinct oh he's gotta yeah he's gotta pay blue to activate the flying so no real worry hmm
Oh. No real risk right now not to do it. It's already blocked. Okay, USA. Again, we died in pursuit of flight. So I think I'll play Griffin. Rather than the uh, filibusters. This also eats up his night. Slow loan, explosive impact. Alright, that's troublesome. Okay, block, 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 block. He gets in for one. Yeah, his attacks aren't good here. He could have a trick, but if I have a chance to cancel out all his damage. We're at such a low life, I don't want to even let him get in one damage to get put us that much closer to uh, Annihilating Fire. Yeah, I can live with that. Coil weird. Dude's going for it. Gotta give that to him. Kill his bird. Yeah, I think we just have to. He ain't anything too devastating that turn, so. Let's run out the boys. And if we can get through this next turn, we'll be in good shape. Lovely. Just fantastic. Ooh. Did we just go big? I don't think we really need to. He's got Trader's Instincts in his deck. So he takes that, we have to block. And he gets in for three. Oh, let's play big cards. Let's not live in fear. I wouldn't be opposed to just sitting behind the judgment there. But we hate our traitor's instincts. He'd be lucky to have two. Oh, nice. This guy could have the Avenging Arrow. But I'm not scared. Yeah, dude. You got it. Every card counts. Ooh, Swamp. Nice. I didn't notice he couldn't activate this in the entire game. Yeah, no real reason to play Void Builder.
he does attack in and he has some sort of trick, Judgment will blow him out. Uh, that's kind of a bummer. It appears he's going to get some damage in and put us in 9 lane fire range. That's bad news. So we're going to go down to 3. Shit. Oh, that makes things easier. Play another card. So kill a knight. Lock a chain walker. I just I hope he doesn't have an alien fire. We should just never attack in with this deck. That's our that's our new rule. Don't attack in. Don't you do it, sir. Shit. Son of a bitch. Damn it. Oh, we had that. Uh, all that grasp is a little much. I want this to spell. Dramatic Rescue seems a little better. I like it more than Azorius Charm in this game. It's got a lot of enchants going on. And F Vassal Soul. His flying offense isn't that much. Really just pursuit of flight. Yeah, I'll try this out. Oh, that last game stings. Should treat this guy as a defender. We just have to be mindful of his one traitor's instincts. You know, Azorius Charm is pretty much the same thing as Dramatic Rescue. A little more tempo. No, uh, this can take away that enchant play right off the bat. Yes. Uh, I guess that's an okay draw. I guess when you're playing the mill deck, you just gotta be, you gotta commit to that mill. And don't show any aggression. Attacking with Sphinx was a little reckless there. And cost this game ultimately. And. Ooh, we hit land and he didn't. Good deal. We'll just sit behind our counter spell. Is this over committing to mill? A black says splash color. Damn it. Land would have been great. Was that three tax? He could have been at fourteen. Cancel. Dispel also counters that. Nice. Oh, still not hitting our land drops. But we'll pump for one this turn. Alright. I 
I can't wait to hit that inspiration. Ooh, he's really color boned. No chain walkers, no pursuit of flights. We're drawing cards. Play this as a beater. If we get through this next turn, we'll be pretty good. Oh, he hit red mana. That's a bummer. Alright. I can live with that. If we hit mana. Otherwise, we're burning Paralyzing Grasp on it. Well, maybe we'll still just burn Paralyzing Grasp. Or oh, shit. Let's play our Defender. I don't think we saw Ultimate Price out of him. So we can dodge that. Shit, why did I not put in Kenyan Apparition? It's got all these damn enchants. Piss poor side warding. I think I've been undervaluing Kenyan Apparition. It would have been pretty decent in both matches tonight. Destroying that rest, destroying a number of these guys, this guy's enchants. Oh, he's going all in. Seven. Drops me to six. But that'll be basically the last out of him. Don't have fodder launch, you bastard. I want to leave syncopate open. Let me just block here. Yeah. There's no reason to paralyze and grasp the, the imp. Suck it. Well, I say no to that. This guy's deck certainly has some surprises. So now we'll just sit behind our two six mana spells. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Might be able to win next turn.
Yep. So do we just kill that imp? Yeah, I think we'll judgment and try and win with impact and sphinx. What's he doing? <laughs> well, now we know he has that and an island fire. More dispel, more keening apparition. And what don't we need? Paralyzing grass is fine. Weird is good. Maybe we just. It's hard for me to cut doorkeeper. Cut the Pegasus. Rely on our apparition, void wielders, and buku removal spells to take care of pursuit of flight. Dramatic rescue also does it. Hmm, it's hard to fit two dispels. It's coming up pretty big in this matchup, though. Uh, go down to three doorkeepers? It takes away the theme of our deck. I feel like the four is too good to pass up. Oh, what the hell do we take out? Maybe we just need the one dispel. It's really good here. We have plenty of counter spells. So we cut Pegasus for Apparition. Fine. We'll do that. Tablet's kind of tempting. I wish it was all players, not just me. For each of the chosen colors it is. So we're really not getting that two life too frequently. I named blue white, not blue red. Swift justice, no. Sorry's charm is actually pretty good. Maybe doorkeeper's bad here, but I just can't take away our our mill aspect. It's too sweet. I did submit. Maybe one less grass, more charm, I don't know. Uh, this would have been very good on the play. But we're going to keep it. Hopefully we draw into a white source or so. And more importantly, dodge an explosive start from him. Miss a two-drop, please. Yikes. Mana. Alright, that's good. Now we can play Doorkeeper, and if he does have Pursuit of Flight, we can Paralyze and Grasp it. Where Paralyze and Grasp becomes a two-for-one. Alright, that's reasonable.
Gonna want to start hitting those lands, though. If we mill here, he could play Eyes in the Sky. Which is gonna be shitty, but we're gonna take the chance. I hope that island was important. And with this plethora of burn spells, I'm gonna grasp that. No eyes in the sky. Uh, that's worrisome. Missing land drops certainly isn't helping the matter. So we're going to take five here, go to seven. Pretty dangerous, and we're going to also have to hit a land drop. We can't stop him from advancing his board. It's not mana, but it'll be a chump blocker. Actually, it might be worth it to risk it to kill the knight. Eyes in the sky. Nope. Hopefully it's not Angel. Alright. One thing goes our way. We're blocking everything. Say goodbye, doorkeeper. Nice knowing you. Still no land. Great. Hmm. Well, can't do anything, so... That's the turn. I'm going to block here and burn the knight and just pray to god we hit mana. If he plays another creature that F's us. But he hasn't yet so I imagine he's got either explosive impact or annihilate fire in hand. So if we go to 5 we die. And I'm going to play around that. I hate missing land drops. He's got eight, we have four. Void wielder. And he can't play anything. That's what needs to happen. Or go big and play an enchant on your chain walker. So a Nylean fire must be in his hand. We draw a doorkeeper. It's pretty deadly. Silver Songbirds. Deadly. Are you kidding me? Well, that's it. So with our overzealous play of game one, that was disappointing. Shit, was this an 8-4? I don't see any packs. Well, apparently this wasn't a 4-3-2-2. It was an 8-4. And I think we would have won game one. If we just kept our Sphinx back. In this game. Fucking mana. But I guess that's magic. Hope you enjoyed it. See you for the next one.